Okay, so I put those two clips together just to show off some uh, of my VFX skills. So uh, let's start with uh, 3D Equalizer for the match move with uh, plenty of manual points and then uh, add uh, the automatic after the fact to get a little a better point cloud. And I also uh, use two reference uh, pictures uh, to help with the solve. Then I brought this in Blender so I just recreate um, the geo here in Blender because everything was pretty flat anyway so it will be less messy and just push back everything to fit my points and uh, that's how I created my plane for the, to help with my shadows I modeled the ship uh, with the best topology I could following some advice from Blender Bob I did some rigging and the smoke simulation and fire also using some proxy over there all the texturing uh, for the ship was done procedurally and then uh, back in uh, Nuke after dealing with all the lens uh, distortion uh, stuff here you can see I have my shadows and of course my plate had uh, already shadows so I use a luma key to just so my uh, shadow uh, will uh, not do double shadow and add some uh, ambient occlusion so I have a better contact Okay, I use some glow and uh, some crypto mat here just to uh, aid for to grading uh, the saturation of that light in that case and the, the glow as well. Uh, I use a lot of projection map for uh, different element. Uh, here we see the fire hydrant and uh, back to okay is the other shot so um same thing i use a 3d equalizer made uh, the ball in, in blender and brought it there to and then I project the points on it so everything line up and uh as you also uh, i was filming with a, a prosumer camera with a lot of rolling shutter so i had to deal with this but if you look at my uh the time shift here the the point uh, follow pretty well the 3d points but as long as i use a uh, uh, rolling shutter which blender can generate and that's much better than doing a wrap because uh, it uh, works with all the plane as you can see I had to do some testing though to figure out which uh, parameter will get the closest to what I need and then uh, here we are in blender which I recreate the scene with all my uh, points uh, coming from uh, 3D equalizer. Um, I had uh, to uh, do uh, a little uh, geo node here to make those uh, flower works. The growing and uh, and the moving are actually uh, dynamic. Um, and then uh, back in Nuke, uh, I had to erase all my marker, which uh, I put a, <laughs> a little too much of them. And uh, also, I, f I didn't realize that she was wearing uh, green, so here's a uh, crypto mat to help me out, uh, take out uh, where the spill will be. And uh, also, uh, I'm using the uh, IBK stack uh, to get the most shadow possible out of the finger, so don't have to recreate them with Roro. Uh, and then I put uh, another uh, score mat on top to help also. Then, um, well, all the usual, the shadow stuff, I had to take her out of there. So I wrote her out here a little bit. And uh, then also I used some uh, projection uh, map to do my roto for the basket at, in the back there. Just for fun, I used uh, the cloud point generator here for the bed. Brought everything in DaVinci Resolve for some color tweak. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you, and uh, hopefully I see you on the real shot.